Hello and welcome to Ember Court for today's super playoff final between our host Metropolitan Police and Tunbridge Angels. There is one promotion spot in the Vanarama National League South and it's going to be decided this afternoon. I'm delighted to be joined by Frank Wilson, Jim Cooper and Jody Brown. And gents, how do we see today's game unfolding? Jim, this is a club very close to your heart. And Jodie, we know there's a lot of experience in the Tunbridge Angels side. Do you think that will be key in today's tie? And Frank, on that point, it's been an absolutely outstanding ca campaign for Met Police. Do you think they've got it in them to go this one step further? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I took them as my favourites today. Um, although I just think this super playoff is just something that none of us have ever experienced or expected. So I think it's too difficult to call. But my heart says Met. Well, there we have it. There is just one promotion spot up for grabs. Who will it be? Met Police or Tunbridge Angels? Let's join our commentary team, Hayden Bird and first of all, James Cummins. Well, for these two sides, this is it. A place in the Vanarama South. Next season beckons for one of these two teams as you join us here at Imber Court for today's Super Playoff Final between Metropolitan Police and Tunbridge Angels. Tunbridge Angels managed to get here via a playoff final win against Merstham on Bank Holiday Monday. As for Met Police, they beat Salisbury and Paul Town to reach the final this afternoon. But Gary McPherson, he's got plenty of options available to him. He'll be looking for the likes of Jack Mazone and Captain Max Blackmore to fire them into the Vanarama South. As for Tunbridge Angels, they've got plenty of experience and firepower to hand. Looking to the likes of Chinadu McKenzie, Joe Turner and Tom Derry for their firing options. Joining me in the commentary position for today's game is a man who I always enjoy spending time with and working with, and that's Merston's manager, Hayden Bird. Good afternoon, Hayden. Good afternoon, James. We're looking forward to a really exciting super final. Let's hope the game lives up to the title. Fret has not gone just yet, and Tunbridge Angels cross the ball in towards the middle. We'll try and find Derry. Derry heads the ball down, doesn't quite reach his man, and this is a chance for Chislin. Not so, though. The ball is now with Turner. Turner runs in, powerful run towards the middle of the puck, he's brought down, and that's a free kick on the edge of the area, and this is dangerous, Hayden. Well, that's the first example of what I was saying a few moments ago, James, where Turner has a lethal right foot, and as a left-sided player, he will always look to cut in to try and get his shot off. Early test for Bertie Schotterall in the Met Police goal. Free kick taken, low drive, good save. Hasn't got out there as Adam Ramadan shoots over the top, but that was a good effort from Joe Turner and a great save by Bertie Schotter. Really excellent effort by Turner. He struck the ball with real pace, asked the question. Uh, the goalkeeper did particularly well to get down. That's a difficult save, and, and Ramadan fired over. A bright start from Tunbridge Angels. We know how dangerous Tunbridge Angels have been from set pieces throughout this season. Turner whips the ball in towards the middle, try and find options just over the top and it'll be the first corner of the game to Tunbridge Angels and they needed to deal with that dangerous set piece there, Hayden. It was a good ball in, he played the ball into a good area and uh, thankfully for Met Police, they got the first contact. It's going to be the Sean Fear who will take this first corner of the game. Plenty of options in the middle, McKenzie, Arthur Lee in there too. Also Craig Stone right up against Schotterall. Corner whipped in by Fearbold right in towards the centre. Early chance, off the line it goes. Really, really dangerous moment there for Met Police and it's been drilled away and another, another chance goes begging for Tunbridge Hayden. Absolutely, at the fast stick that looks as though it was going in, didn't it? It was scrambled off the line. Uh, Tunbridge have definitely started the game brighter. Met Police uh, look a little bit nervy in the early stages. They just need to get themselves on the ball, settle down, and get themselves in the game. Yeah, they'll make the pitch a little bit zippier, wouldn't it? That, that may suit the home team, albeit, like I say, at the moment, here's a chance. Good one-two between Derry and... And a good effort 
from Joe Turner again. Good one-two link-up play between Derry and Turner with a low drive in towards the bottom corner. And again, unlucky for Tunbridge Angels. Turner looks a real threat at the moment. He's coming in onto that right foot. He's looking to get his shots off at the earliest opportunity. I, I can see problems from it, police unless they sort this out. Drawing up from the back once again. What can Met Police do with this opportunity on this near side? Very, very lucky to keep the ball. Reaches towards the path of Robertson. Robertson still with the ball. Looks out towards Chislett. Can Chislett shoot? In. Does so! What a That's finish! That's a great goal! What an absolutely stunning finish from Ethan Chislett! One of the main men for Met Police this season produces a marvellous finish! Collected the ball from Luke Robertson, took his time, curled his shot into the top hand corner, and Jonathan Henley could do nothing but watch it sail into the top corner of the net. And it's first blood to Met Police. It's 1 0. What a goal! And I think you've just seen the moment that absolutely epitomises Met Police's season. This is a team that fights, that hangs on in there. They have been hanging on a little bit in the first few moments of the game, but it's the first time they've played a little bit of football. They've worked more into a dangerous area, and what a finish. One of the main players that has a bright, bright future to come. Ethan Chislett gives Metropolitan Police the opening advantage in this playoff final. A wonderful finish from outside the box and the game has turned on its head. This will be really interesting now because at Met Police there's a young team that have a big belief because they're used to winning. We even see that in the week when they're down to bare bones. Having beaten Paul, they won the Surrey Senior Cup. So I think the confidence of these young players now will be sky high. Well, from memory, Derry was an influential figure on his loan spell at Leatherhead last year and seeing the way he's played in the previous season he's definitely a dangerous player and given away very very cheaply there and met police could be on the break once again he's trying to find options and folks loses the ball again and this is a real opportunity for met police feeds in towards jack mazone what can mazone do he's crowded out tries to go for a shot luckily wins the ball back again looks towards the path of robertson and is unlucky now it reaches turner dangerous moment here well won back there by blackmore good effort and a good save by That's henley absolutely superb play from blackmore i'm a little worried about james folks i think he's a he's a really really good player for tombridge angels really influential but already he's been very sloppy with the football he needs to really calm down get his passes in go back to basics because if if you give this team um, the opportunity in the final third you can see they're young men they play without fear great opportunity there for Blackmore and a good save by Henley throw in taken by Parter tries to win it back again this is a dangerous moment in towards the centre that is a comical miss from Chenadu McKenzie under pre pressure to try and put the ball in and that is a howler of a miss didn't quite get his body shape right did he I think the ball coming a little bit uh, too quick for him great piece of play from Tombridge Angels they need to take encouragement for that didn't quite set himself that, that's a pass into the net unfortunately for Chinadu, he's made a hash of that that's a let off for Met Police there's no doubt of that how much of a major moment will that be and will they root for that miss come later on in the game that was a terrible effort well let's not be too hard on him there's a, there's, there's a, there's a long way to go and there's definitely chances in this game also play up, Folks tries to play the overlapping ball, doesn't quite work. Here's Fearbolts, now with Folks. good one-two play. Fearbolts unlucky there. There's now, a good idea from Fearbolts. Uh, there's a, a bright young talent there in the midfield with Fearbolts, attacking midfield player, looked to drive into the space, didn't quite come off. And now is an opportunity to stay on side and with Derry. He's dangerous in this kind of position, tries to whip the ball in. Now in That's McKenzie. That's be a foul calls of a foul there not given and play continues met police feeling a little bit edgy there and it goes for a, a free kick and you would have to think that's rather harsh on met police there surely was a foul in the lead up to that incident i think mckenzie definitely fouled robinson then it definitely impeded him to stop him defending the ball Derry and turner in the middle arthur lee whips one in it's in the back of the net the equalising goal has arrived and Arthur Lee gets Tunbridge Angels back into the game from the set piece. Poor defending from Metropolitan Police as a direct result. 
and Angels are back in his game and we have a final on our hands here. It's one all. To be fair to Arthur Lee, I think everybody was expecting the ball to be delivered and, and to shot low and hard. It's just taken a nick of a deflection to beat the goalkeeper. Game on. Disappointing for the home side, but for the neutral, it's exactly what you wanted. And the crowd behind the goal are ecstatic with that equaliser. And Tunbridge Angels get the goal that they were so looking for. But can Met Police get back into this game very, very quickly? And it'll be interesting to see how the dynamics of the game now goes on with that equaliser. Now that, that, will, that will give Tunbridge Angels a new lease of life. There's no doubt about that. Derry, Ramadan. Ramadan versus Guinness Walker. This is good play. Neat from, and tidy so. play. Neat and tidy play from Tombridge Angels. And slowly but surely, the influence of Theobald in the middle of the pitch is coming to the forefront. It's going to be Turner versus Webb. Turner wins the ball. Still has it. Still has the ball. Will he shoot from a long way out? Good save there by Shuttle. Not cleared yet. Parter, another good save there by Shuttle. It's not cleared away. Ramadan off the line. This is breathless stuff. Away again. Another decision. Over the top it goes. This is brilliant football here at Inbercourt. It goes out again. And it's not quite cleared. This is dangerous stuff for Metropolitan Police. This is brilliant to watch and see. Fearbolts. Harried at the moment, still has the ball at the moment. Dangerous times for Metropolitan Police. They really need to calm their nerves and clear their head. Chislett now has the ball. Can he put the ball further forward as they now drive further forward? Well, they certainly rode their luck there. I'm not quite sure how the ball didn't end up in the back of the net. Met, Met Police were just throwing bodies on the line to stop the ball going in. And now it's Metropolitan Police on the attack. Can they cross the ball into the middle? Yes, they can. And that's good defending from Tunbridge Angels. And it will go out for a corner. But what a great first. Well, what a great first couple of moments we've got to say for the second half. It's a great start to the second half. Tunbridge Angels have been settled by the goal. They've started really brightly and currently are in the ascendancy. Plenty of options in the middle, taken low but cleared, only as far as Robertson plays it back towards Gilbert. Gilbert now has the ball, crosses the ball into the centre, good shot, it's in! And Metropolitan Police are back in the game! A nice low drilled cross into the box. And he was there it was, the ball home. it was a really dangerous ball into the box, which causes indecision in the defensive ranks. Does the goalkeeper come to it? Should they defend it better? There was real hesitancy there in defending that first ball in, which Met Police capitalised on. This is becoming a game of moments. Just a couple of moments ago, I'm really not quite sure how Tombridge Angels didn't go 2-1 up. They didn't, and they've been punished for it. Well, what a moment for Metropolitan Police, and that was exactly what they needed to get back into this game. A well-worked move on this near side, straight in towards the middle. And Metropolitan Police are back in front here in this final. And it was a wonderful effort and a great goal from Ollie Robinson. 2-1 Met Police. One team will be promoted to the Vanarama South come the end of this game. But it's all to play for, as there's a chance for Stone. Stone, good save by Shuttle! And that was a really good effort there for oh. Tunbridge Angels and Stone got into the middle. Good shot oh. and Shottle was there to palm the ball away. Good yeah. stop. Yeah, very well played by Craig Stone. He saw the gaps. He saw that he could break lines. He made a run into the space and it was a decent effort. Well saved. It's Stone versus Blackmore. Mazone wins the ball and Kamara goes down clutching his face but play continues. Mazone is away here. Got options right towards the middle of the park quite unlucky as Kamara is still down towards the centre circle. Play still continues. Here's Fearbolt. This will be controversial if this goes any further. Fearbolt still with the ball. Still Fearbolt. Oh. Can he do anything? Tries to take his man. Says he's there. What a goal! What a finish from Deshane Fearbolt. And we're back to 2-2 here. What an impact and what a goal that is from the Tunbridge Angels midfielder. He had the ball, he ran past three, four players, struck it low, and he's given that much needed equaliser to Tunbridge Angels. We, spo two. we spoke about Theobald and how he's a driving force in the middle of the pitch. The most interesting part of that goal, other than it was an excellent piece of individual play, 
is that the entire Tombridge bench was asking for the game to be stopped because Kamara was on the floor. They did, the referee quite rightly didn't stop the game, which allowed the Met, the Met Police to fly forward. It was defended, the ball's in transition, and as a result of the refereeing decision, Tombridge have equalised. What a final this has proved to be. And the Shane Fear Bolds has given Tombridge Angels a lifeline in this final and has got his team well and truly back into the game. A great goal for the fitting for the occasion, Hayden. Well, we spoke about Theobalds having a growing influence on the game, didn't we, in the second half. He's, he's been the best player on view for Tombridge Angels today, I would say. And that was a really excellent goal by an excellent midfield player. Given his performance in this game, he has well and truly deserved that finish and that goal. And the Tunbridge Angels fans behind the Met Police goal are certainly ecstatic with that finish. This is a really, really pivotal moment in this game. Corner is going to be delivered into the box. Does so, tries to find his opposite man. It's headed out by Mazo. As far as Nyama, it's back with Fearbolts. He's been dangerous man in this game. Here's Stone, harried by Chislet and Mazo. Here's Turner, cross into the box. It's a chance for Kamara. Heads it back in. It's a goal. How's that not gone in? That is unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff here. There's that been, was a golden, golden chance. There's been two instances in the first, in the second half where I'm really not quite sure how the ball hasn't gone in back of the net. There's one, and we had one incident about 20 minutes in. That is an incredible moment, and that was Tom Derry who should have really put the game to bed and taken it beyond Met Police. A great game and a great advert for non-league football between these two sides. It will go to extra time here. Ball is now with Guinness Walker, who will take the throw in. That's headed by Blackmore, who's rather further back. Chislett, Mazone. Mazone from a long way out, and that's a good save there from Jonathan Henley. He needed all of his skill to keep that effort out. And that's what I really like about these strikers. They don't, as I said earlier in the game, they don't need asking twice to get their shots off. Really, really exciting forward play and a very good save by Jonathan Henley. It's Henley versus Guinness Walker again, and these two have had a right tussle as this game's gone on. Still with Small, crosses oh, in towards the centre, chance for Derry! There's the goal! It's been threatening from Tom Derry throughout this game, and it was a clinical cross into the box by Small, and Tom Derry was there in the right place at the right time, and for the jubilant fans behind the Met Police goal, Tunbridge Angels take the lead yet again, 3-2. It was a fantastic ball in by Jared Small and uh, Tom Derry just peeled off at the far post to finish easily. Well played, Derry. A, 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 great, a great piece of attacking play from Jerry Small. But let's remember how that started with the presence of mine of Jonathan Henley. A superb, coolly taken header by Tom Derry. We've talked about him quite a lot in this game, and he was there where it mattered. And his advantage to Tunbridge Angels, as we now see a new perspective on this extra time period the emphasis is now fully on the Met Police and how they respond back from that goal yeah these young players now have to really dig deep they need to stay calm they the, the game for the last 35 40 minutes has turned into a scrap they need to get their foot on the ball and keep believing it's back with Mazone. Blackmore wins the ball back successfully now to one Chislett Chislett stops the play, what can he do? Blackmore, promising position, just goes wide! And that was a real, real chance for Met Police there. Good build-up play between Chislett and Blackmore. A great the finish was just lacking. It's a great opening, but what you're seeing, James, is you're seeing, as, as I said earlier, you're now seeing Met Police be braver because they have to pass the ball to get back into the game. They are passing the ball, and because they're passing the ball, chances are being created. As one final opportunity to bring on a fresh set of legs. But you just get the impression now that Met Police just need something out of the bag. They need to produce something to stay in this tie and keep this tie alive to make it go to penalties. But it's looking increasingly difficult with the likes of Fear Bolt. And now it's Turner. Opportunity. Turner! 
what an opportunity that was to put the game to bed. Absolutely. I, I would have preferred him to have rolled in Alex Reid, who made a great run off his left shoulder. But in fairness, I don't think you can blame him too much for trying to shoot. The referee will surely end the game, but it's still going on. It's just written in the stars that you're looking like to have an equaliser. And that is surely going to be it. The referee gives a free kick to Tunbridge Angels. Surely the last chance has gone. Jack Mazzone is going to have and a that's it. And there goes the full-time whistle. Tunbridge Angels have done it. They will be playing in the Vanarama National South next season. There's play plans and people on the pitch. What a game we've seen here at Court. Commiserations to Met Police who have done an emphatic job given the amount of games they've had. Somebody's fallen over in the process. That's a joy of promotion for you right there. But it doesn't matter as Tunbridge Angels' his fans are in heaven. They're in delirium right now. And they will be promoted into the Vanarama South next season. What an achievement for this team and what a final we have witnessed here this afternoon. It, it was the perfect way to close a fantastic season for both clubs. Met Police really contributed to this game as they have done the whole campaign. And Tombridge Angels, they fought to the last, they got a very late equaliser. But I think across the 120 minutes, I think that they deserve to win. That's a really fantastic achievement for Steve, for Barry, for everybody in blue today, and I congratulate all of them. It's certainly been a memorable match for everybody concerned here. And you can definitely say what you've just said, Hayden, the Metropolitan Police players and the staff can hold their heads high. They've had a fantastic season with some great players in the squad, which will undoubtedly go on to higher things and higher expectations as a result. It's been a brilliant performance from these boys today on what has been a memorable season. Absolutely. You know, we're just watching Eastland Chislett leave the pitch. He looks absolutely devastated. But in truth, he should be a very proud young man, as should their captain, Ollie Robinson, and every single Met Police player. An incredible achievement for everybody concerned. Ethan's been hurried back out onto the pitch but he's obviously absolutely distraught as anyone would be in this situation but it is Tunbridge Angels who are the victors on the day they showed the better quality over 120 minutes and now the fans and the players celebrate on the pitch it, oh. was, it was tight it was a game of moments uh, both teams had chances uh, and you know, now is the time to congratulate Tombridge Angels and wish them all the very best in the National South next season. They've done it the hard way because really and truly, both of these teams should have been promoted. And it's only the fact that there's a ridiculous ruling from the FA this season that has stopped that. Met Police won their league playoffs. They should have been promoted. Tombridge Angels won their league playoffs. They should have been promoted. It's a real pity that the young players of Met Police haven't been rewarded with promotion, but it's been a season where they've defied all odds and I've no doubt they'll be back stronger in August. Well, what a way to end the season here. We've been treated to an absolute classic here at Imber Court, a game which will be remembered for a long, long time for everybody that's been here. And I have to say, Hayden, thank you so much for joining me in the commentary position today. My, my pleasure. It's been an absolute humdinger of a final. One to remember, it's finished here after extra time. It is Metropolitan Police 2, Tunbridge Angels 3.
there we have it, victory for Tunbridge Angels. It was the super playoff final we were all hoping and all expecting. I'm delighted that we have some of the Tunbridge Angels players with us now, Michael Kamara and Craig Stone. Michael, stepping in there um, for today's game, it was really end-to-end -end and the momentum swung throughout, but ultimately victory for yourselves. Yeah, the game was crazy. Um, yeah, the game was crazy. Um, I've got a phone call during the week because I kind of saw what happened with uh, Sonny. And, uh, I was kind of ready to be honest. Um, obviously, I've been involved with Woking, but I haven't really been playing. So when I got the phone call, it was no brainer. Do you know what I mean? I might have to come and get a game. It's my fifth game this year as well. Do you know what I mean? So, and in, Craig, in stark contrast, you've been heavily involved in the campaign this season and having to come back and show that character and then ultimately getting the winner in extra time. You couldn't really write the script, but you're just desserts in the end. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, we was a little bit down at Christmas time. We had to show a little bit of character there and come back and, and actually make the playoffs in the first place. And, you know, when we when we got the opportunity like we did at 3-2 up, there's there's no way no way that anyone was going to beat us then. We've got some absolute warriors out there, you know, that will we'll go to war against anybody. And as soon as we got the 3-2, um, we knew we knew he was in a driving seat and we knew that from then on we was going to win. But again, great character to come back from twice behind. You know, it's the third game, obviously, in, in a short space of time, which it is for the uh, Met Police as well, and credit to them. But, um, but yeah, it's great for everyone involved at Tunbridge. And today's match winner, Tom Derry, joins us as well. Tom, a fantastic ball whipped in. How delighted were you to see the ball hit the back of the uh, net? I, I couldn't believe it when it... Jared stuck it in a back stick and I've been wanting one of those for about five games um, and it just dropped and I thought all I can do is get my head on it. It's gone in the back and then I went to celebrate with our fans but I realised they were down the other end so I had to do a U-turn and uh, <laughs> celebrate with the boys. Um, but yeah, it's an unbelievable feeling. Um, we said before the game, I know it's a cliche but we said we're going to war and to come from behind twice um, and get the job done, it's an unbelievable feeling and I mean, hats off to Met Police, they deserve to go up as well. This game should never have been played in the first place. Um, but yeah, hopefully something happens and they go up by default because they deserve it just as much as we did. But yeah, over the moon for everyone at the Angels now. And Michael, a quick word on the Met Police. Deserves lots of credit. They came out and, and seized momentum early on and then kind of caught you guys off guard, really, taking the first initial goal. Yeah, they were quite lively. They had a little game plan with the 9 and 10, obviously, just putting themselves about and getting free kicks and X, Y and Z. But as Stoney said, as the game got longer in, there's loads of men in our team, do you know what I mean? So as soon as we got forward, he, he was there like a second captain saying, listen, we don't mess this up. We don't mess this up. I mean, we just literally just saw the game up. And Craig, you've won many playoff finals. How does this yeah. one rank for you personally? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's the fourth. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's great. Like I say, um, you never you never get tired of, um, be, you know, winning and being successful. And, and it's just great. Like I say, from, from where we was at Christmas time, you know, and we were we were, we were dead and buried. And, and it's super for the gaffer, you know, because I spoke to him there afterwards and he's, he's had some tough times. I know we keep saying it, but it's tough as a manager. It's very, very tough. And, and to have the change room afterwards and, and to say, look, boys, I'm not sure where further we can go. You know, and we rallied together. We got him together and, and we had a real go for him. And, and like I say, everyone involved in Tunbridge, it's only, you know, it's a small club. It's a small club that's run by um, fans that, are, you know, you heard it there. It, it was like a home game um, and, it, and it spurs you on. And we've got some real, real good people involved in the club that they deserve these times. They've been waiting eight years and, and, uh, and now we've got it. So they deserve it and they, they'll, look forward to, uh, they'll look forward to next season with some great fixtures. And Tom, finally, with the celebrations this evening, it's been a fantastic campaign for Tunbridge Angels and really the merit that you deserve for a long, hard fall industrious campaign. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've organised our team day out tomorrow. Um, so there's a few boys saying, oh, we shouldn't have done that. But that beer is going to taste a lot sweeter tomorrow now that we've now we've actually got promotion. Um, so, yeah, everyone's obviously going to be partying into the night and uh, tomorrow as well. So, yeah, over the moon. Well, congratulations. I think for any spectator here today, it really was a super playoff final. So thank you for all the entertainment and congratulations and cheers, enjoy your promotion. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. And as we reflect on all of the action, let's go back to that first goal. It takes a pretty special strike to beat Haley in the uh, Tunbridge Angels goal, and, and what a strike it was. Yeah, we um, we assessed him quite closely during commentary and during analysis. I mean, Ethan Chislett, the number eight for Met Police, I thought had an outstanding game. Um, you could just tell, sort of up against a very physical Tunbridge side, um, he stood out, he's quite a frail-bodied lad, but my God, technically, um, off both feet, absolutely fantastic. Um, and that finished, I mean, it was neat play, to be honest, building up from the left-hand side and then chop back into him and to have the ability, you know, just to open himself out and whip that in the top corner. That was a real credible start for the game. Fantastic goal, fantastic goal. And Jodie, you were really impressed by the Met Police side today. They really did play a magnificent part in this contest. What would you say about their performance? I thought they were brave from the outset, looked to pass the ball, looked to get on the ball, looked to express themselves right right from the first minute. They certainly didn't freeze. 
Um, really bright young side. Um, they've, had, they've had a tremendous season, but they came up against an extremely experienced team in Tunbridge. And, and I think in the end, in the end, Tunbridge's experience just overpowered them. Um, it's a shame for them. Uh, but they'll take so much from the experience and it's going to make some of those like teenage boys and early 20s such better players for the future. And I'm delighted we have Gavin McPherson with us. Hi, Gavin, commiserations. Your side put on a sublime performance today. It's been a brilliant campaign. You must feel immensely proud, if a little yeah. disappointed. Um, immensely proud. Um, I've tried to say that to the boys today. Um, it's not sinking in, to be honest. They're, they're absolutely gutted. There's a few tears. A um, lot of things have been written about us. A lot of things about, uh, you know, we shouldn't be out on this park. We shouldn't be in this position. Um, seeing so much of it on, uh, you know, amazing what people write on social media. Um, we've deserved it. We've deserved it, you know, and, um, you know, we, we arguably on another day, we, we deserve it today. But um, we made some young decisions, I think, out there with uh, some of the things that we do. It's well documented that we're a young side, a uh, very young side. And when you make young decisions and when they're not necessarily the right decisions, games like this, they get magnified massively. Mm. Uh, and, and I think that shone through today. Um, but on another day, you know, um, so, you know, there's, there's, there's no right or wrong way to play. We play very differently to Tombridge. I don't, I don't knock them for that. Um, but we, uh, you know, we play some good football and the boys, I just asked them to leave nothing out there and, and they did that for us today. 100% and the, the team talk before the game would have been obviously trying to seize momentum early on and you took the lead, an absolutely fantastic strike. Yeah, I thought, I thought actually we were on the back foot for probably the first 10, 15 minutes. And then Ethan, um, you know, it's what he can do. It's what he can do. You look at him and he's a, he's a slight lad who, who looks fragile and, you know, he's up against a couple of big boys in there. But, you know, if you're going to give him time and space, he's going to pick those sort of pockets. And, um, you know, he's a fantastic player, um, got a fantastic future, I would think. Um, pr probably lose him, probably as I will most of them, um, because we just, we just, you know, financially can't keep them. It's as simple as that. And the momentum swung throughout the 90 minutes and into extra time as well. What was it like there for you on the sidelines? Is there an element of enjoyment as well? Because it was a tactical battle ensuing no, too. There's never enjoyment with these games. They're horrible, <laughs> horrible affairs, horrible cagey. Um, you know, and, and sometimes they open up like they did and it becomes sort of end-to-end -end sort of stuff. And, um, you know, it, uh, for me, you know, I'm probably the calmest person here. You know, I try and remain calm. You, uh, you can't patrol the touchline like a Conte commentating and shouting at this group. you just got to let them get on with it. And you, you just hope, as they have done largely throughout the season, that they, they do the things that they can do. Today, we had to put a few things right. A um, few people who've been magnificent this season didn't quite play, didn't quite play. But, you know, as I say, I look at it and I think to myself, well, probably, probably should have won that game. Probably should have won that game and uh, we haven't. I'm sure the emotions are very raw at the moment, but for you personally, this season of management, what, what do you take away? A lot. I mean, I can, I can stand here now and, and take away a lot. You know, you, you look at milestones as a, as a manager in non-league and I'm sure the guys will, will back me up on this. You look at first round of the FA Cup. Um, you look at um, sorry senior cup. You look at winning one of your senior cups, and you, and you look today at the you know, ultimate is promotion, of course. Um, and we've we've just fallen short of it. So, for me, I am, you know, I, I, words can't describe how proud I am of that group because they were taken pluck most of them out of the under 23s. We made a couple of decent signings, you know, Yolly Robinsons, Jack Mazones, Max Blackmores, and um, we've knitted them together. Um, we've worked really hard with them. We've gone quietly about our business. We've not been uh, loud about it. And, um, and the fact is, they've, they've taken us this far. Um, and, um, you know, I am immensely proud as a manager. I couldn't have dreamed in my first season in management that I would be standing here talking about the first round of the FA Cup, etc. Probably got the most difficult summer that I've ever had. I thought last season was difficult when Jim, Jim went and all the players went. But obviously, when you put your head above the parapet like they have, that the players have, then people start circling and people start looking. And, uh, you know, I, I accept that. That's football. Um, I've got no problem with that. Um, but realistically, having put a team together to, to, to get these achievements, um, we're probably looking at maybe rebuilding another team now. Well, look, congratulations for a fantastic campaign. I think on behalf of everyone here today, it was a really good spectacle and your side played more than their part. So thank you for taking the time to come and have a chat with us. Thanks, guys. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Some very relatable disappointment there, but Met Police have had an outstanding campaign. And Jodie, like you were saying as well, they had points in the game where potentially they could have gone on and just lacking the experience that perhaps their opponents had in abundance. Yeah, I think I, think I said it before the game, it's so much to do with character, these games. So I, I thought they equipped themselves really, really well. Um, 
and defensively for a young team they had to defend so many crosses into their box and they did it well and I thought even late on when Tunbridge were probably in the ascendancy I still thought Met Police looked a threat on the break um, if I if if I was managing them and I was reflecting I'd probably look at did I get enough out of my front players today I think maybe the Met Police front boys didn't quite do enough I thought they played well through midfield I thought they defended re relatively well um, I just think maybe you needed something special or something a little bit better in 1v1 situations from the front players and leadership is a key trait that we spoke about before the game and we've picked out Arthur Lee's performance this afternoon and if yeah. we have a little look at the equaliser okay it was a deflected effort we were kind of scratching our heads seeing a centre back step up for it but again showing that character as a skipper not only to get them back into the game but yeah. also sometimes you earn your luck a little bit yeah you do um, it's no surprise that he's been involved in you know two playoff finals um, notably last season and then again the game today um, but I'm always impressed I'm sure Jody will agree with defenders having capabilities of being able to step up at set pieces and, 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 and be a threat um, we saw it in Monday's game against Merstrom that he was comfortable in possession he's got a lovely left foot he can switch play well but he's a good defender, you know. I thought he had. I thought. I think that he has an all-round, relatively balanced game. You know, he's he's good in various aspects. But to be a goal scorer and to score in those situations today is is is, is massive for his team. I think. I think with Arthur today, um, he took the game by the scruff of the neck. Mm. So if you see in that second half, there was times that he was driving out in the left back position and starting the attacks. He defended brilliantly. He got the goal from the free kick. But the way he drove the team forward yeah. in search of ultimately the winning goals yeah. um, was really, really impressive. I thought he was absolutely outstanding. I thought he was outstanding in the semi-final as well after Sonny Miles got sent off. Um, he, he's been exceptional in both games and it, it's great to see him end up on the winning side. Yeah. I'm delighted to be joined by today's victorious manager, Steve McKim. Steve, well, that's one way to win a uh, Super Playoff final. Yep, yep. We was uh, pushed all the way by Met. You know, they're a good young side. And I didn't expect any different from Gav and his staff, the way, he's, the way they play, really. And uh, he'll have the vultures around in the summer taking his players. And he will do, because they are a good set of, good set of lads. And um, just over the moon that we've won and got promoted. And I, I feel for him, and I've said it, it's farcical that a good team like that and our team, I, I believe, are good, didn't get promotion. And, and a lot of questions need to be answered, but it's whether people ask the questions because I'm talking off, off, the, off the script here about the performance. You know, I feel for them, but I'd be in the same boat if we didn't get promoted. And it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing that both sides win their playoffs and can't go up. They should never have set out that way in the first place. It's, it's poor. When we um, spoke on Monday, we spoke about your side's character and yeah. obviously today they've shown that in abundance, having to come back from behind twice and then, and then the winner from Tom Derry. It really was a kind of, again, typified Tunbridge Angels display. Yeah, but they never give up. I just felt in the first half, I said to them, you know, that they were snatching at stuff and, and they didn't need to. Um, second half, we calmed them down a little bit and they got, they got better. I wouldn't say they were outstanding, but they got better and we found some space. And I knew today that if we just put balls in the box, uh, on a consistent basis something will give and, and we did and, and we got our chances um, the last goal smallest cross that's the best cross he's put in all season but what a cross and what a time to do it um, Deshaun just singling people out that, that goal he scored you know unbelievable and what a player he is what a player and, and that's I might be it's my own player but it's one of them we was pushed all the way today and if we didn't have enough about us in terms of being resolute and uh, strong-minded and, and all, all the cliches you want to bring out, we wouldn't have got nothing from today. And Steve, it's a very long season, one that you share every moment with, with your supporters and seeing the scenes at the end there, the jubilation, you can see what a tight-knit club it really is. Yeah, we've we got a good fan base, like I say. It, you, do, you do get some doubters, <laughs> but you get, you get them everywhere. You get the, these, <laughs> we've all been managers, you get them everywhere, but... Some, some come up to me and said, we did doubt, but we now believe sort of thing. Yeah, they're happy to Yeah, of course, but that, that's <laughs> football fans, you know, and, and, and that's how it works. But you saw out there, they're all together, they all loved it. And I'm just so glad that we could get this club back to the, uh, to the National South, really. It's taken five long, hard years and we've tried everything. And this season, it's worked for me. I'm sure those celebrations will be sweet tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on your promotion. Thank you. Well, well done, done, Steve. Mate. Well done, mate. Brilliant. Well done, mate. Brilliant. 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 Congratulations, well done.
Well, how do we Ooh. summarise and reflect on that afternoon? We said it was going to be a tight affair. We knew that we were in for a really good contest, but really it was a fantastic Super Playoff final. Yeah, it was. I think for the neutral, what we wanted to see was just a really exciting game that could have gone either way. And I think that any way you sum it up today, whether you put credit on Met or you put credit on Tunbridge, I think what you can say is that both teams played exceptionally well for the majority of the game and it made a really excitable game. And it, it could have literally could have gone anyway. Could have gone anyway. And I think that today was, a, was, was just an excellent performance for both teams and brilliant. And in the introduction to today's highlights, we spoke about it being a very long journey for both clubs. But really, both can go away knowing that they've displayed elements of, of their seasons, can't they? Oh, without a doubt, both teams have given a great account of themselves. And let's be honest, if you win today, there can't be any better way. Mm. For the team that got defeated, it's really tough because yeah. they did win their own league's playoff. Yeah. But for the team that won, this is probably a one-off season. This super playoff probably won't ever happen again. And they've been they, they've been successful in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It'd be an unbelievable day, an unbelievable evening, and probably an unbelievable couple of weeks for them in terms of the way the club will celebrate. But then they'll have to start getting ready for next year and, and life in the National South. Um, I think Tunbridge are more than well enough equipped. I've got to be honest. I, I don't mean just with the personnel they've got now. They're allowed to it. But as a football club, to me... Uh, off the field, I don't know the the financial sort of situation, but off the field as a setup, they look ready. So there we have it. The 2018-19 season draws to a conclusion. Thank you to you guys for joining me for this amazing Super Playoff final. How long until August? <laughs>